Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome to Tech Century. I'm your host SB and a few minutes ago DJI just announced the Phantom 4. So let's take a look at this amazing upgrade. So to start off, let's take a look at the design of the Phantom 4 and it was certainly changed. So while it still looks like a Phantom, now it actually has a polished design. It doesn't really matter if it's glossy or not when it's in the air, but nonetheless, it's also now a unibody that's supposed to be lighter and sturdier than aluminum, at least according to DJI. So that's a big improvement. On top of that, the camera gimbal was improved as well and it's supposed to get even smoother shots now with the brand new camera. And another improvement is also on the rotors themselves. They now offer a higher performance and even at higher speeds, they're not supposed to get in the way of your frame. So that's a big and welcome improvement. Other big improvements are four new sensors that look all around the Phantom 4 as well as to the bottom. And these sensors actually enable the Phantom 4 to be aware of the environment. And these new sensors also enable the Phantom 4 to recognize obstacles from as far as 50 feet away. The new and improved rotors also enable a completely new mode on the remote that's called Sport. And this Sport mode allows the pilot to fly even faster than ever before while also still having the avoidance of obstacles. And this mode is supposed to give you even more dramatic shots with the drone, which is certainly amazing. Now on top of that, the Phantom 4 also has two new flight modes that are enabled because of these new sensors and technologies. The first one called Tap Flight, and this allows you to just tap anywhere on the live view to really send the drone to a new position. And this will also make use of the new sensors to avoid obstacles in the way and just be aware of obstacles so that the Phantom 4 doesn't crash into a tree or stone, for example. Now the second new feature is called Active Track and this allows you to just select a target on the live view of the Phantom 4 that the drone will follow, again using the sensors to not crash into any obstacles. And this even works without any kind of receiver at your body so you don't have, for example, to carry the remote with you all the time. These new sensors are also used for the new and improved return home feature. When you press the button, the drone will now avoid obstacles and even reroute around them to get back to you. And on top of that, there are also improvements in terms of camera. The camera on the Phantom 4 can record 4K at up to 30 frames per second or even full HD at up to 120 frames per second and also features a new eight element lens. On top of that, even the battery of the Phantom 4 was redesigned and now also gets a longer flight time of 28 minutes. But now let's actually talk about the price and as you could probably guess, all of these features don't come cheap. The Phantom 4 is now available for pre-order on DJI.com for $1,399 and the drone will start shipping March 15th. Now currently there are no information about other versions of the Phantom 4 like we have with the Phantom 3 right now. So we don't know if there will be a full HD version of the Phantom 4 at a lower price, but it seems pretty likely. So if you're also happy with a cheaper version of the Phantom 4, then you might just want to hold off a bit until DJI also announced the other versions. Currently, there's just this one choice with the 4K camera that certainly looks absolutely amazing, but of course it's pretty pricey at $1,400. Now I'm really eager to hear what you guys have to say about the Phantom 4. It looks absolutely amazing, but again, it's pretty pricey. So I'm really tempted to get one, but I probably will just hold out. I'm really interested to hear what you guys have to say. Are you getting one? Then I'm definitely jealous. Also, let me know if you like the video, subscribe for many more news videos here on the Tech Century channel and like the video if you enjoyed it. See you next time.